early on too, a smartphone danger. A father says his daughter's iPhone became so hot, it started smoking and then burned her. That father got so angry about what happened, he posted his frustrations on YouTube. He said the phone started overheating in his daughter's pocket, and now he's talking to us and sending out a warning to anybody with a phone like that. Samantha Patashkin live with this story, which you'll see only on two tonight. Samantha. Well, that Tomball father says he bought the phone, an iPhone is 6 Plus, about a year and a half ago. He never had it serviced anywhere other than the Apple Store. Never really had any issues with it until this week. Here you can see where it, it burned. It's the aftermath of what appears to be an alarming iPhone mishap. Smoke was billowing out. It smelled really bad. Randy Vizi says his daughter's iPhone 6 Plus was in her pocket when it started overheating. So she yanked it out. It was too hot to hold. She threw it on the ground. Next thing they knew, a burning odor and a lot of smoke started billowing from the phone. It's pretty scary. Like I keep mine in my pocket and I'm like, you know, I've, I've felt it hot before. It's a scary situation, and we've seen similar incidents. Last month, a New Jersey college student, 6 Plus, exploded in his back pocket. And in September, federal safety regulators had to recall 1 million Samsung Galaxy Note 7s after users reported the device caught fire while charging. Well, you see where it came apart. Needless to say, Randy won't buy another iPhone and probably not a Samsung. At this point, he's just glad his daughter wasn't hurt. I mean, she could have been asleep, you know, how kids are. It could have been asleep with the phone in the bed or, you know, even worse, it could have been laying down somewhere and done this and everyone asleep and it could have caught something on fire. And Randy did take the phone back to the Apple store. Employees took a bunch of pictures of it, and they say they are looking into what happened. We also reached out to an Apple spokesperson who said he couldn't really comment about it without staff members taking a look at the phone in person, but they say they will also be looking into it. Reporting live, Samantha Patashkin, KPRC Channel 2 News. Thank you, Samantha.